what's happening everyone welcome back to the channel thank you so much for being here let's just listen to the next track over here on crisis we're gonna listen to a little bit of that moonlight shadow why did i say it like that why did i say moonlight shadow i don't know it just seems like a, a a song that needs to be said that way anyways crisis we're moving on to the next track here opening upside two uh, of the album hope that you guys are having a lovely day out there let's just go ahead and pull up the song we can talk about it a little bit after a little bit of that moonlight shadow here we go definitely hear the difference there is there is a clear distinct difference uh in this track in from the previous one obviously you can definitely hear like what we mentioned before how this is definitely leading into the more commercial uh side to appease to the masses the first one's for him the next one's for you right a little bit of a back and forth spider-man kind of action but nonetheless really nice guitar lovely singing courtesy of maggie who just like elevates the music into something completely different and she sounds incredibly comfortable here she sounds incredibly beautiful here the guitars have that little bit of twang in them that you that lets you know it's mike oldfield and then the solos at the end <clears throat> excuse me uh really bring everything into a, a full fully rounded experience uh like i kind of saw before with this track this is uh i guess 
maybe his most popular track that kind of streamed. Uh, let me actually pull you guys up here really quick. So this was released as a single, uh, included on this album, obviously. Uh, let's see. It is Oldfield's most successful single, reaching number one on numerous charts in Europe. There you go. Peaking at number four in the British charts, making it his uh, highest, I'm sorry, his second highest ranked single after Portsmouth, which reached number three in 1976. And uh, like we said, it reached a number one in many countries, Italy, Austria, Switzerland for four weeks, Norway for six weeks, spinning four weeks at number two in West Germany. I mean, it had a lot of success. And I would imagine this is the kind of song that many people would hear become interested like, ooh, who's Mike Oldfield if you had never heard of him before? Or maybe passingly and passively you've heard of him. And then <laughs> you, you begin looking into perhaps his earlier works and you're saying, you're either going to go one of two ways. You're going to say, it's not exactly what I was expecting. Or you go down the rabbit hole of, it's not what I was expecting, but I'm glad we're here. Uh, says here that the song was re-released in France in 1993 and was featured on promos for Elements, which is what? A compilation album. Okay, so you got to hover sometimes to find out what it is. Uh, and it also says that obviously she sang live uh, when touring with Oldfield. However, since then, other singers, singers have performed the song live with Oldfield, including Anita Hegerland during the late 1980s, Pepsi Demock, hopefully I pronounced that correctly, at the Tubular Bells 3 premiere, Miriam Stockley at Millennium Concert and Nokia Knight of the Proms in Germany and Rosa Cedron. At, I've never heard of any of these other singers. Not, not a discredit to them. I've just never heard of them. Uh, and it says that Phil Spaulding played bass on here. <clears throat> Excuse me. Along with some other instr instrumentalists here and some other, some other, you know, things here. Let's look at the lyrics really quick, though. That, that's where we need to settle in. That's where we need to go. The last that she ever saw him, carried away by a moonlight shadow. He passed on, worried and warning, carried away by a moonlight shadow. Lost in a riddle that Saturday night, far away from the other side, he was caught in the middle of a desperate flight, or fight, and she couldn't find how to push through. So, obviously, this is the last time she saw whoever this person was. I'm assuming her lover, partner, whatever it may be. The trees that whisper in the evening, carried away by a moonlight shadow. Sing a song of sorrow and grieving, carried away by a moonlight shadow. All she saw was the silhouette of a gun far away on the other side. He was shot six times by a man on the run, and she couldn't find how to push through. So she was trying to get to him, but unfortunately was not able to get to them in time. I stay, I pray, see you in heaven far away. See you in heaven one day. Far, 4 a.m., not far a.m., 4 a.m. in the morning, carried by a moonlight shadow, watched your vision forming. Stars move slowly in the silvery night. Will you come talk to me this night? But she couldn't find how to push through. So obviously this was, you know, uh, her lover, I would assume, being killed. 4 a.m. in the morning, saw, seeing uh, their vision coming through. So dreaming of this person, you know, and saying, unfortunately, they've passed and I, I hope to see you in heaven. You know, hope to see you in heaven one day. Now, because I saw lyrical content, that's what reminded me. It has been suggested that the lyrics of the song are a reference to the murder of John Lennon, despite the fact that the events in the song do not correspond to those of Lennon's murder. <clears throat> but sometimes, even if a song is not directly referenced in the lyrics, sometimes the inspiration can come through in the lyrics, even if the details aren't quite there. Um, obviously, it shows all the differences between Lennon's history of being shot, of course, and you know, the references here. Oldfield responded, not really. Well, perhaps when I look back on it, maybe it was. I actually arrived in New York that awful evening when he was shot, and I was staying at the Virgin Records house in Perry Street, uh, where just a few blocks from where it happened. So it probably sank into my subconscious. That's exactly what I'm getting at. It was originally inspired by a film I loved, Houdini, which was about attempts to contact Houdini after he died through spiritualism. It was originally a song influenced by, by that, but a lot of other things must have crept in there without me realizing. That's what I kind of mean. Sometimes you're inspired by things, even if it's, you know, the the, de the details aren't quite there. But regardless, uh, the inspiration does happen there. Anyways, hope that you guys enjoyed the video. Thank you so much for being here. Hope you enjoyed the music. Come back tomorrow. You can let me know your thoughts in the comments below. That's the video. Have a great rest of your day, everyone. <laughs> I will see you all later. Bye.